Um, so I am on my street after training on Sunday. Um, Sundays are just half days. Um, so it was kind of a light day today a little bit. Um, I still did pad work with Pinu, which I actually wasn't <laughs> anticipating doing. Um, I normally do, but I'm pretty sore today. Um, I'm super sore in my arms, like on my biceps, uh, because I'm one of these people who it takes like two days to actually get sore. So two days ago, or uh, maybe even three days ago now, um, I kind of had a meltdown. I had a mini meltdown during training, and it wasn't good, it wasn't like cute. Um, and I don't know, it was, I think it was just a really hard day for me, and um, I go between gyms, so uh, things can kind of snowball if I don't get my mental right between gyms. Um, and I was just having, I think, a really difficult time at the end of my training at Petrin Rung because I kind of felt like I should have been doing better than I was, and I didn't stop to think about what better means, or, you know, specify exactly what I wanted to be doing. Um, so I just kind of like, I don't know, I was, I was um, clinching and not doing well in clinching. I was kind of getting dominated a lot and not being able to do the things that A, I can normally do, and B, I totally should have been able to do. Um, and then on top of that, I did sparring right afterwards and just wasn't doing any of the things that I needed to be working on. Like I've been working on blocking a lot because uh, in my last fight I won, but if I had blocked, it would have been a far more dominant uh, win for me. And so I'm fighting Fa Cheng Rai again, who I fought last time, so we really want to um, you know, make it a better fight than it was last time. And this is one of the ways to do that. So I know how to block. Like I know how to block. I know what to do to block. And uh, it just, it was not coming out. And uh, as a result of my frustration, I started like really losing it. Um, and Pinu hasn't really seen me like that. Like I've cried at the gym many, many times, but I take that in the bathroom or like take it outside or whatever. Like I totally hide it. Um, and so I'm sure he's seen it somewhat before because he's got eyes on the back of his head. He sees everything. Um, but I think that he had not really seen me in that kind of state of mind in a really long time. Um, I haven't really been in that state of mind in a really long time. Um, Kevin sees it all the time. He loves me anyway, so it's, it's kind of okay, even though he totally doesn't give me a break on it. Um, but so afterwards, um, when I was like putting my stuff away, Pinu was in the other room, uh, and I, I went in to put my stuff away, and he comes over and he's like, Sylvia ben Arai, like, what's, what's the problem? What's going on? Like, are you tired? And I like lost it. I was like, like no I'm not tired I just suck I'm just awful like really bad like total brat I'm like I'm just bad yeah yeah um so he was like shaking his head like I don't know what your problem is he was like Sylvia everybody has bad days and I I had a valid point when I said this but I probably shouldn't have said it in the way that I said it but I was frustrated and I was like you know I don't know whether I'm having a bad day today because I don't get to spar as often as I need to. So the last time I sparred for real, rather than like five minutes with somebody kind of taking it easy on me because they're way too big, um, was last Sunday with Tong, who's not there anymore. So I was like, I don't know if today's a bad day or if I just don't know how to do these things because I don't get to spar enough. And so he kind of like looked at me and he's like, you want to spar more? I was like, yeah, I've been, I've been telling you that for like two years. So he was okay. And uh, so, one, he's, he's put me on a sparring every other day schedule, which is actually really good. Um, but two, in order to like solve me having my mental breakdown on that day, um, he kind of let me be alone for a little while and I, I went on the bag and did a bunch of blocking drills and things that I actually wanted to be working on. And then he came out and he's like, Sylvie, come on, time to go work out. And he brings me into the weight room and he made me do this like pyramid of um, just, he's like, today you're working on your biceps. Like, but he does like spot treatments. I've never seen this before, but he's like, Sylvie, bicep day. So he pulls me in and he makes me do a pyramid of curls, essentially with free weights, um, barbells. I don't know, what do you call them, barbells? Um, and so on the lightest ones, you do 30, and there's a middle one and you do 20, and then the heaviest one you do 10, and then you go back down to the light ones and you do the whole pyramid three times. And uh, he was just watching me the entire time, like, he was really proud of me because he was like, oh, you're so strong. You're stronger than some of my boys, like being able to do this bicep thing. And he really, I mean, the real purpose of him having me do this was actually just to get my mind off of myself so that I stopped being such a brat. So I wasn't like, I'm so awful. So I'm just, you know, even though it's hard, I can keep doing it. Um, and I did finish it, which uh, I was a little bit surprised by because it got really difficult near the end there. Um, but that whole story, leads to uh, me being incredibly sore today. My biceps are 
crazy sore uh, because of that exercise from a few days ago. And yesterday, Pinu was making fun of me and saying I should start doing MMA because I would just make so much money at 45 kilos. And so I was explaining to him ground and pound. And so I'm like, when they're on the ground and you start like punching him, he's like, yeah, yeah, this. And just by like, just by shadowing ground and pound, I hurt my arm. I was like, I need to pull something. Um, but I thought it was really cool that um, one, uh, it was not cool that, that I had a meltdown. Um, but it was cool that it was handled in a adult and embracing way. Uh, both by me and by Pinu um, and I think that I got a bit of like two inches more of space in the gym uh, through that experience um, not only by demonstrating that I'm frustrated I could have done that better um, but by having a discussion about it and then showing that I can recover from it and Pinu being awesome and basically treating me like one of the Thai boys by making me do that exercise to kind of get my shit back together um, I think was ultimately good uh, and, and I feel pretty good about it and, um, and I'm getting more sparring out of it, which was really good. It's difficult to spar with some of these kids and um, not all of them are my size, so it's, it's a little bit tricky to like find the right people. Um, but really it's not about finding the perfect sparring partner, it's about finding what you can do and what you can work on with each of those partners. Um, so I haven't, I haven't had as hard of a time since that day. Um, I had my little like fit and I think that I kind of um, have recovered from that for the most part. Um, but do your mental training. Like, it's <laughs> super important. Uh, and I was not really up to snuff in getting myself uh, to recover faster for all of the different places that I go when I train and just being able to train for hours and hours and hours a day. Um, you need to be able to recover numerous times. Um, if you're going on a marathon run, you're gonna need to have your like mental check of can I complete this? several times it's not like only at mile 23 um all right people are staring at me because i'm filming myself uh i hate filming myself in public but for you guys i'll do it all right i'm gonna go home some doggies around all right talk to you guys later